What's a simple concept from your field of study that the average person doesn't seem to understand? Librarian here. If you want your library to have new books, you must be prepared to get rid of the same amount of old books. Because I have to dispose of books secretly, as the public just don't seem to realize that we can't house a collection that grows by tens or hundreds of thousands of books every year. For the pedantic, I said amount rather than number for a reason. Books and archives are commonly measured in linear meters or kilometers, as that tells us how much storage space is required. Orthodontist here. Making braces tighter does not make the teeth move faster. Have patients daily asking me to make the brace even tighter because they can take it and finish faster as a result. Teeth move quickest and most efficiently with very low, sustained force application. It's like trying to get yourself out of quicksand. Yanking with all your might leaves you in exactly the same place, but slow, continuous, gently force gets you to where you want to go. Usually after explaining this, they shrug as if I'm trying to pull one over on them and proceed to ask me to make it tighter next time. Finally, many people use drugs due to trauma. The culture surrounding drugs perpetuates the trauma. Even if someone did not start out using drugs due to trauma, they most often will acquire it due to the nature of drug use, the circumstances surrounding it, and how people who use drugs are often targets of violence, especially youth and women. This is not to excuse behavior or actions, this is just a gentle reminder that your sister slash brother slash cousin whatever who says they were hurt by a relative, and they are dismissed and called a liar, only because they are a drug user? It's most likely they are a drug user specifically because they were hurt. It is a natural human reaction to want to avoid pain or minimize it, even emotional pain. Yes, watching fentanyl zombies sucks ass. Yes, having meth addicts screaming at demons is weird AF, but it is never as easy as someone just stopping using. To successfully do that they need not only to want it, but to deal with lived trauma, and to have support systems in place to be successful. And even what I am saying here is a gross oversimplification, 